Well, this is some really juicy information because it does reveal possibly a high-end variant of the high-end video cards that NVIDIA will be releasing early in next year, actually just in a few weeks. Hopefully, they can release those before the end of January 2025 for those who can actually afford them because they're not going to be cheap. So let's jump into this. And as always, I link the source, and in this particular case, it is Tom's Hardware in the YouTube description down below. Make sure you go over there and check it out, have a read. But these photos are very, very intriguing because it shows a very large BGA package for the GB202 GPU, and this is expected to power the RTX 5090 and potentially higher end variants like the 5090 Ti or T or Ti, however you want to pronounce it, as well as the RTX 5080 Ti. But, um, you know, there's no NVIDIA branding on this, or at least this is what the article alludes to. However, some are guessing that this is by the third party manufacturer, PNY. Now, it's been pretty well known that the 5090 will come with 32 gigabytes of GDDR7 memory. However, if you look here at the printed circuit board, you'll notice 16 solder pads for memory modules. And this, this might suggest that there could be variants of memory. So not only just, you know, all of them having 32 gigabytes, you might have configurations that have 48 gigabytes or even... 64 gigabytes of GDDR7 memory. <laughs> I'm laughing because I know that the 5090 is going to be terribly, terribly expensive, but the higher end versions of this with more memory, well, of course, it's going to cost even more. Now that we're talking about memory, it would be nice to see NVIDIA throw in a couple other gigabytes of VRAM on the rumored spec for the 5060 which is only eight gigabytes that's not enough it's not enough for 2025 and modern games it just isn't so the power connector on this will be a single pin 12 volt two times six power connector capable of delivering 600 watts of power and who knows the higher end variants of this could demand even more power than that and this also suggests that the overclocked versions from third-party vendors could have dual connectors for higher power delivery. So not only are you going to be spending a lot of money on the video card, you're going to have to get a really, really high-end power supply, and they are not cheap. Also, the display connector is uh, dual display port 2.1a, enabling significant higher bandwidth than the current DP1.4a standard. This will allow for higher resolutions and refresh rates, such as 8K at 240 hertz, or 16K, if you can believe that, at 60 hertz. There's also going to be PCI Express 5.0 support. The RTX 50 series will be NVIDIA's first consumer GPUs to support PCI Express 5.0, doubling external bandwidth. However, this is not really for gamers. It's more for, you know, non-gaming workloads, for example, AI and multi GPU setups. Now, when will these video cards be released? Well, I'm guessing before the end of January 2025, and maybe the 5080 will come before the 5090. It's anyone's guess what is going to happen. However, it's a good chance they will be released before February 2025. And there are a couple of reasons. Maybe one of them might be tariffs and all the rest of it. But we will have to wait and see on that. I'm really looking forward to the release of these, certainly to report to you guys about what's going on here. I'm not sure I will be getting one myself personally because I have a 4090 and that does everything I want it to do. These cards, I'm guessing myself personally, are going to be anywhere from three to $5,000 US. Some people say, you know, I am way off on that. Hopefully I am. It's not going to be $4,000 US for a video card because if it is that in Canada and in other countries, that will be double. That will be like $8,000 just for the video card. If that's the case, it will price 99% of us out of the market completely. But it's all interesting. Nonetheless, what do you guys think?